Hi, good morning, friends. It's Miss Tina. Hi. And this is our first week of art. And I came out here to the steam plant, behind the steam plant, and found a quiet place to film and show you our, our project for this first week. And we're going to make a chalk drawing. But before we get started, I also wanted to show you um, my special art pants before I get really messy with my art supplies. I always try to put on my my art pants so that um, I can keep my other clothes um, protected. Okay, so I already sent home some chalk with you. This is regular sidewalk chalk. I know a lot of you already have this kind of chalk at home. That's fantastic. And I also sent some pastels home with you. Some of you might already have this as well. But this week we're going to make um, a sidewalk chalk drawing. And I like to always use pastels. You can see that Miss Tina also does this for a living, so I have a lot of pastels here. But again, most of you have sidewalk chalk, but I also wanted to make sure that you have some pastels because pastels can really um, take your your drawing and your picture um, to the next level. Um, the colors are, are so much brighter um, and it just really helps your drawing. So I wanted to make sure you had some pastels as well. Now in addition to your sidewalk chalk and your pastels and your art clothes, you also want to have a rag handy. So here's my rag and it's already wet. You can see it left the water on the sidewalk there because then you can if it's already wet and handy you can easily wipe your hands in between while you're blending colors okay I'll be right back and I'm going to show you some different techniques okay I'm back all right so my camera is showing the sidewalk here this is a brick wall this is a sidewalk now I have, an, I have another rag. I didn't show you that in materials, but here's another rag. This one is dry. So before I get started, I wanna wipe off my area. Okay, so I'm cleaning off the sidewalk area. If I'm doing a really large chalk drawing, like at a festival or something, I'll use a broom, right? But here I am, I'm just using this little rag to wipe off this area. Now for this chalk project, we're going to do um, think about a smaller area. I know that you you make large chalk drawings on your sidewalk and your driveway on the driveway all the time. But for the purposes of the pastels, I'm going to show you what happens when we we um, define our space, and that's what I'm going to do for you right now. So I have a straight edge, and we're going to define our space. So with my straight edge, um, any kind of ruler. We have these longer ones that we use in the classroom. I'm sure a lot of you have one foot rulers, 12 inch rulers like this. I'm just gonna define my space and that will really give me a concentrated place to explore the pastels, okay? So I'm gonna define my space and just draw a square, four sides to make a square, okay? So I'm drawing my four sides here All right, so take a look. I have my, my square there and I'm just gonna concentrate on this area. And again, I know you like to make huge drawings, but for this exercise, I'm just gonna help you kind of define your space a little bit. So here's my, my four sides, my, my square that I'm gonna concentrate on. All right, the other thing I wanna show you is just, it's really fun to also try different um, different stencils, right? Some, a lot of times you have your own ideas, you want to trace your body, you want to trace your hand, or just write your name, or any kind of image you can think of. But let's think about um, some kind of stencil that you'd like to use this week. So, for example, I have, I'm sure you've seen these, and maybe you have some of these at home, right? Different kinds of stencils that you can use to draw your shapes. And I'm just gonna take this stencil, right? And you know how to use these stencils. So I'm just tracing the shape inside, okay? Now, and you know what? If 
there's some other fun things that you could use from your house. Say if you want to use a stencil or you don't want to use a stencil, you can also look around the house and try to find some interesting objects that you could use as stencils, right? So for example, an empty jar is really fun to use as a stencil. Oop. I've got my little piece now. Remember little pieces work as well so you do want to keep using those little pieces all the way until they're gone another fun idea for a stencil right what's that yeah totally you can use a pot lid for a stencil i'm overlapping my images here okay um perhaps a meat tray for a stencil i'm going to put you out outside here And I think I'm even gonna maybe trace my hand here and I'll put it inside this meat tray stencil that I traced. I'll show this to you in just a moment. All right? All right, let's take a look. Okay, so lots of different ways you can use stencils, either true stencils that you may have at home or also found object stencils. It's, it's really fun. I love using found objects, which are ordinary objects that you would use for a normal use like cooking, but you can use them in a different way. That's called found objects, when you find something and use it in a different way. And I love doing things like that. It's a, it's a very creative way to think about things. And then of course I'm gonna wash it before I return it. Okay, and I'll be back to show you some blending techniques. Hi, I'm back, and now I'm going to show you um, a couple of blending techniques. Okay, so here's my square and the stencils that I made. Well, now let's go to our pastels and our chalk. This is the part where I really love the pastels because they can really help your, your picture stand out. So let's just say I'm going to take this shape and go ahead and start to fill it in. All right, color, color. Color, 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 color. And the fun part about pastels, just like we've tried on paper before, we did this on some black paper another time, is that when you get all this powder, right, you can use this. A lot of times people want to blow this away, but this is, this is, this is actually pastel. The powder is the pastel, so keep it, use it, blend it. To see how nicely it fills in all the cracks? Um, when you're doing this exercise, See if you can try to be as thorough as you can. I tell you that all the time when we're working on paintings in class. Fill every spot, fill every crack and spot, and you can blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. And then again, I have my wet rag handy so that I can wipe that off. Wipe off that color when I'm ready to work on another color. Okay, so blending is a lot of fun. All right, let's try some patterns. And I'm just so excited to see what you're going to come up with. Okay. Um, got my little pink. Maybe I'll make a pattern over here. And But you can see how bright the pastels are on chalk. So they're really fun. Um, they really help your pictures to pop. Okay. I'll add in. Now I'm using some regular chalk here. And again, I don't have to color the whole thing. I can just get some chalk going. I don't want to blow that away. A lot of people, like I said, want to blow it away. Keep it. Use that dust. That dust is, is actual medium, so you want to use it, right? And I'm covering every, every little spot, okay? Using my rag. Let's go to another color here. Blending it in. And back to chalk. You can see the difference between the chalk and the pastels. The chalk is much softer and the pastels are much brighter. So I want to challenge you to think about, focus on a specific area, create an outline, choose some stencils and fill. F-I-L-L, -L, every spot. Use some blending. Use some of these materials here like your, your rag. Okay, let's imagine that I've, I've colored in my star as well. I'll go ahead and do that right now, quickly. I'm gonna color you in one color, 
for the sake of time here because I want to show you something in the background as well. And again, it's the same thing, color, color, color. I don't have to color the whole thing because I have a lot of medium, a lot of chalk or pastel that I already crushed there. So I'm going to use that. Use it, use it, use it. Use it, use it, use it. Use it all. Don't blow it away. Use it, use it. Okay. Wiping off my fingers. Now, what's all this back here? Right? Our background, right? Or our negative space. So for your background negative space, because it's such a, a large area, you can go to the, 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 the regular sidewalk chalk is great to cover the, the background areas. Okay, because you can get a lot of coverage and it's bigger, it'll cover more area for you. If I'm doing a large drawing at a festival, I will have both sidewalk chalk and pastels. And the sidewalk chalk is great for these large areas like background. Okay, so when you're thinking about your chalk drawing this week, again, think about a focused, uh, defined, confined area. And show me how you um, are blending and also filling in your background and using every spot so you can see where I've colored 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 and I've created a lot of extra chalk medium that I'm just going to keep blending 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 for the background and I'm going fast but I you take your time right take your time take breaks if you need to but you take take your time Okay, now let's say that you are, you have finished coloring it in how you like it. Really, if I was going to, if I was, I would really spend more time, but I'm going to keep going so that I can show you another technique. Okay, all right. So, another fun thing after you've colored it in and blended um, is to use some other different color to help it pop, like with an outline, right? I can use some bright color. A lot of times I, I use black to help things pop, right, when I'm all finished. I'll give it a little trace. And then black is fun also to smear. But it, it really helps your, your artwork stand out if you think about um, some kind of outline around your, your stencils. Okay, and there we go. Okay, and there's my finished picture. Again, for this week, think about that focused area where you can really fill in all your objects. I think you'll, you'll be happy with how bright the pastels um, make your work. Um, and I just wanted to leave you with one last thing. A lot of times people will ask me, especially if I'm at a festival, um, how do I preserve my work or how do I keep it, um, help it stay, especially like on a, on some windy days or if I'm at a three day festival. Um, a lot of chalk artists will use, um, hairspray. So this is liquid hairspray. It's diluted with water and I just give it a couple of sprays and then when it's dry, it just kind of helps the chalk stay in place. Okay? All right. Um, well, I look forward to seeing your works. Um, feel free to send any pictures to our Google Classroom. Thank you. Bye-bye.